Okay, good morning, YouTubers. Uh, we're going to do a little catch up on uh, our daily progress pictures because we haven't uh, done any for two weeks, maybe three weeks now. We'll call it, we'll blame it on the holidays rather than laziness um, or a lack of interest in my channel, but whatever you want to call it. Okay, what we're showing here is uh, our, our bars are uh, a little rusty because we didn't paint all of them right away and it's still raining. And you see on the left, there's some that are blue. Those are all the, the same bar. Uh, I mean, go in the same kind of a location. They go uh, across the floor and up a wall. So our our walls are tied to the floors uh, every seven and three quarters of an inch all the way around. And the, the ones he's doing now, his first coat's white. He, he's going to add a little bit of some color, uh, like uh, red to make them pink or green to make them light green. And every section of bars that is different for, for something will have a different tint to it. So we can carry them down, just throw them in the dirt any place we want. And then uh, we we just tell them to go find the pink bars. And there we go. Um, well, I was planting something. Um, I think they're bushes, but I don't remember what kind. Okay. Um, this is sort of something new, sort of, sort of, kind of. Uh, you, you'll notice that he's digging out this corner over here, um, right through here. We've been digging away at that mound of dirt, and now that the, the rain has let up, it's just hard as concrete. So I asked him to show me what the ground looks like off the back side of this solar panel concrete, and it's almost flat. I said, well, just stop digging on that hill. Uh, we'll dig that some other time. Come over here and just move your, your back line of your, uh, of your slab 10 feet. Because uh, they were going to dig another 8 feet into the hill. And I said, you know, keep 2 feet so you have room to work set forms and walk around the thing. But just, just, just relocate it. Just head south. There's, there's nothing going to shade the solar panels. It's uh, open field. And that's another view of uh, that. Oh, that's our, uh, it's a Dempsey dumpster kind of wheelbarrow thing made in the Philippines. Uh, fairly inexpensive. <laughs> uh, but when you get where you're going, all you do is pick up on the handle and it dumps it right out. It's like a like a two-wheeled wheelbarrow. Okay, you can't see what it is because it's tilted wrong. At the bottom of the screen down here, you can almost make out little rebars. Um, this is the third lift of uh, a pour in the master bathroom um, dividing wall between uh, my wife's bathroom and the big shower. And uh, these can be, uh, you, we can add something up here and that'll, that'll tie it together. Or we can come by with the uh, uh, angle grinder and just cut them off flush. But what's, what's intended to go here is cut them off flush, put one layer of uh, glass hollow block, and then leave eight inches of ventilation space. But it's uh, actually eight and a half, so if we wanted to put two layers of block, we could do that. <coughs> but right now we're pouring concrete. <coughs> no, it's not COVID, that's just a cold. Um, this is Nana. Poor soul had his wife die of uh, COVID here last week. And uh, he couldn't even get her uh, from the government to bury her. They cremated her and gave him a jar. But he's back at work. I guess you have to eat. And plus, uh, if he stays home, there's nobody to, uh, to watch the baby if he wants to go out. So he just brings the baby with him. And uh, his uh, sister-in-law is uh, taking care of it. One year old, you know. But he's had children before, so he could he could do it. Uh he is uh, putting two bins in, in these bars. These are going to be the columns and the foot for the columns for the uh, solar panel thing. Uh, this is Benji. You can tell from pink slippers and the rest of the clothes. He's tying uh, for the uh, a lift here on the master bathroom, my bathroom part. And it, the, the, when he gets done, th these bars will be sticking out. The last lift is a short lift. It's uh, only 14 inches. Uh, I 
I think he's just showing that they've they've uh, put a bunch of stuff together here to to fill in that space rather than than make a form. And that's a corner. Okay, here's uh, Nana again, and these are what he's making: is these uh, these vertical columns, these ones that are fanned out on the bottom uh, down here. They're going to sit on those little little parts that's hanging down, and uh, this thing will sit nearly plumb, just drop it in on in, in the uh, hole. We're going to put three inches of concrete in the bottom of the hole, and uh, that'll. Uh, uh, be set with the uh, the water tube transit they use over here. Uh, I've got a, a laser level for them, and uh, I taught them how to use the surveyor transit. But they like the plastic tube; they can use the plastic tube. I mean, I'm not doing it; they are. No, I don't get the laser level out. I'm totally lazy. Oh, that's his baby over here hanging out of the corner. So she's up up walkable height, I guess. Now you have to chase her down, I guess. She looks a lot like her mama, or, or like her mama looked. Anyway, he's uh, going to make 21 of these. There's three different heights. Um, there's an intermediate one here, and all the rest of them you see here are the tallest ones. And that puts our uh, solar panels at 14 and a quarter degrees uh, latitude. These are the rebars that we uh, uh, didn't paint again. These are part of the floor for that solar array. We've got the rebars uh, to cover uh, the floor, except we stole 27 of them for something else. And um, and it goes up the walls uh, maybe four feet. But there is, when you, we have to add on to them for the full height. But the lower, the southern side is only uh, like three foot six. So they only go up that high. And the ends, uh, they're at a 14 degree angle. So they get some added on, but there's no load. There's no ceiling, no roof, no nothing attached to it, no structure. All the rebar do is keep it from separating uh, the pieces, you know, getting away from each other if it would crack. And pouring in forms is not likely to crack. Um, this is the bottom of a door going into one of the bathrooms. I, I really can't tell from this. I... I, they're working on the master bathroom, so I'm assuming this is uh, uh, the one that goes into my wife's side. Uh, he's looking there, they're tightening bolts, putting the forms together. You can you you can see they don't use a lot of the bolts. They they but they are they are they are putting more of them than they used to. They haven't had any trouble with leaving them out. I just told them that when when they get that concrete and they try to knock it out. It can delaminate the phenolic board on the other side. If you're going to knock it out, you got to knock that concrete clear through this, uh, the good wood over here. This, uh, uh, it's a two by three. Uh, it's not mahogany. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Nara. It's Nara. We use Nara. Uh, termite proof pretty much and uh, very strong. It's a tight grained wood. Machines reasonably well. Uh, Miter saw with a carbide blade cuts it pretty good. Uh, this is uh, Boyette. He's the uh, site foreman. And he's got a four-inch paint roller. It throws less paint all around than the than the uh, seven-inch. They don't have eight-inch and nine-inch rollers. You have a seven-inch and you have a four-inch. Your choice. And that's the uh, the uh, road out in front of our place. We have a paved road right across the front. Electrical transformer we can't hook to in the front yard. Um, and water line running down the other side of the road. No way to get it across unless we mine underneath the road. And he's uh, making some more. Okay, I know where that tree is. So south is is to his back, which make him digging on the west corner. Um, I guess this is this is part of the uh, relocating the uh, the foundation uh, a little farther down the hill. Oh, well, it's actually it's level over there. These are rice paddies, are terraced, but the the difference between that rice paddy and the next is not, wasn't that much. I told him, would you rather uh, 
uh, fill and then wet down with some water and compact it, or would you rather keep uh, banging away at that uh, solid dirt pile that's 12 feet high? Um, we had the um, Benji's dad and brother uh, changed the downpipe in this well because it was one of those real thin uh, Filipino pipes. And it rusted through with the threads, and you couldn't keep priming the pump. And apparently, they've uh, rebuilt the pump and, and uh, painted it. it. Was a real good price they gave us, but that's what they do as wells. Um, and that's boy yet again. She, she told him that when he's watering plants and, and and stuff like that, to use the hand pump. That's what it's for. The drinking water we buy in these uh, blue jugs you see on the table over there. And they can cook with the uh, tap water because they're going to boil it. But uh, that's uh, that's Al again. Oh, this ornament up on the roof up here—that's our second concrete mixer. There was another set of construction stairs that came down over here, uh, but when we left, they weren't looking too great. And then they, they told me they had a concern about them, or the foreman did, says, do you want to do anything with them? I says, yeah, tear them down. Salvage what you can that's any any good or any gnar you find in it. And uh, just burn the rest. If it's, if it's not good enough to walk on, we're not going to make forms out of it. But uh, we didn't go halfway around the world to hurt somebody. If the, if, the, if, the, if, the, if the stairs aren't good, throw them away. And that's what they did. Oh, here, here we go. This is a cistern, uh, which is just right up near the back of the house. Uh, it's I think it's 11 and a half feet deep and 24 feet by 30 or something. 37,800 gallon, you know, usable capacity. And then there's a, a two-foot airspace. Over here is a septic tank. It's a uh, five-chamber septic system. And this is, this, over here, this is the block of dirt they were digging through. You can see this is uh, the height of this guy. And that dirt's two feet over his head, and over here's taller yet, and that's where they're digging. Where the mound is over here is where they were digging. They weren't. They had dug this clear over to here, you know. <clears throat> but that dirt was uh, being used for backfilling the the septic tank and the cistern and uh, some other stuff. And you can see these these rice paddies out here. Uh, there's not a whole lot of drop off uh, paddy to paddy. If you pick your your spot. Uh, there's not a lot of digging the level ground on the back lot back here. It's only 39 feet difference uh, from the bottom to the top. Um, I guess this is the edge they're going to work on. This is the block they have to cut out yet. <clears throat> and then they're going to go in there and, and level this a bunch more. Another picture. This is when they get overheated. They, they don't have to walk clear to the house to, to sit down. There's supposed to be ice water on that, you know, to drinking water. I don't know why it's not, unless it's somebody's gone to get it. We have four guys showing out of six, so somebody might be might have gone after it. Uh, this is the when he painted the rebars, he decided he wouldn't leave them out in the rain anymore, so he's uh, painting them and bringing them in. And these ones have got a, a, a an off white tint to them. I don't know what location they go to, but. I'm sure he knows. And here he's bringing them in. They built these uh, couple exterior doors out of uh, rebar and flat bar that we had laying around on the site. Well, they're not laying around. They're all four things, but they're they're better for, for what he's using them for than just laying out in the, in the sun somewhere. And that, that lets them close up the house altogether. He's got locks on uh, all three exterior doors. Um And you can't make it out. There, there's all that's a um, an orchid. Every uh, window on this floor is smaller, only three and a half feet, and the theme is orchid. This stuff hanging down up here. These are uh, for a concrete uh, a spiral beam, actually helical beam. That's going to make a set of stairs that comes down here uh, from the upper roof down to the the floor that he's walking on. Uh, they're not stairs for stairs. They're just access to get up to the wind turbine. It's not, there's no, there's no living space thing up there. It's just, uh, 
Don't want to have to go look for a ladder and drag it up on the roof. So we left a hole in the in the floor slab up there to make stairs. And still painting. Okay, now uh, this is behind his uh, house. He's uh, found him a nice shady spot, and he's he's putting these things together. And uh, there's 21 of them. They make furniture out of every leftover piece of lumber that that, that you have. It's not a rocking chair. It's just a, this is a chair to sit in. Probably weighs uh, 30 kilos. Now he's got a um, a particular height all these rings go at. So he's uh, probably marked it off with felt tip, uh, a sharpie or something. But they're they're all there's a particular place for them. You don't um, uh, you don't go uh, spacing on stirrups. Um, more than the narrow dimension of uh, whatever kind of column or beam you're doing. That's the, that's the outside limit is the uh, is the narrow dimension of the concrete. And these are the tall ones. Uh, she wants to put uh, quail cages under the solar panel so uh, we can stack like four or five layers deep there, well, at least on that side. <clears throat> um, that is Nanny. He's... Uh, He's got the sump pump hooked up to, uh, I told him to take it out of the septic tank first because we have to get in there and uh, put some uh, vinyl ester paint on that someday. So if it's, you know, there's no need to have water in your septic tank. And if I, I told him if it runs out, I don't know which of the fish tanks they're using for fish, but they're growing some for themselves. The tank is sitting there. He said, they can, can they put fish in it? I said, yeah, go please. <laughs> At least somebody will use it. We might not be able to use it, but y'all can use it. So I think they're uh, growing eels in there right now. But I told them that, you know, uh, septic tank first, because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't try to grow fish down in something that's divided up into little compartments. And then the cistern, because uh, I'm thinking there's still a pile of dirt uh, about six feet uh, tall and uh, 14 or 15 feet wide in the middle of the floor. <coughs> it was uh, taking forever to dig. I says, go ahead and pour the first uh, pour of walls, the the, uh, the four foot pour on the wall, and that way anything that falls in, at least it won't be back in the floor another time. And then when we got the first lift done, I said, well, while you got the forms down there and you know where they go, just pick them straight up and pour the second lift. And at that point, there wasn't any need not to uh, pour the third lift, you know, another three and a half feet. So, uh, and then I think we put 14 inches on top of that. And then was they say, well, you want to dig that dirt now? I says, nah, it's already got four or five inches of water down there. It'd be terrible to work in. Uh, and we still have a slab way down in the ground that we've dug up for the uh, tilapia tank. Uh, that's uh, 29,000 gallons, I think. I says, go ahead and put, start putting walls up over there. So we never got back, and all of a sudden we had uh, nine feet of water in the uh, cistern. And... Uh, so we, if, if he takes the water out of that, uh, that's something we can do when it when the weather dries more. Yeah, you can see how, how tall this pile of dirt here is that they were going to be digging through. Uh, so I just told them just move the whole thing, you know, straight straight south. And that's what they're doing. And he's watering down some more over there. This looks like a big... Uh, a slab, but it's a pretty big solar array too. Uh, 721,000 kilowatts. Or 21 kilowatts, is that it? 21, yeah, 700 watts times 30 panels. And there, there again is that mound of dirt that I just don't care to pay to dig. Uh, they had made uh, dirt stairs over here to carry this stuff out because they're using it for backfill. But they've cut the stairs back now anyway. And he's got a, uh, a mattock out there trying to chip this away. The strings are level by the, the water level, but they'll go back with the water level on a pole and they'll check this, this area. The strings just tell you if you've got a big hill someplace that you need to do something with. Um, this is a good place to stop. We're going to stop here because the video is too long already. And... Uh, we got some more uh, dailies here, so I'm going to do another video on the dailies because she wants to delete these pictures off of uh, 
her computer. She she's using a tablet, and they send the pictures to her, and I I tap into her tablet to get them, but uh, uh, she hasn't got a lot of storage space on a tablet, so she needs to dump them. And that's in the background here. That's the uh, dirty kitchen. That's the lengthwise dimension. It's not as wide as it is long. It's like uh, four or five feet difference between the width and the length. Uh, all the windows are on the on the sides down here. There's, hmm. I think there's three to a side. The windows are uh, three feet high and four feet wide. And uh, she's got him doing something gardening. Anyway, we're going to stop this and then start over again and finish it up.